Hello guys, myself Mayank and I'm back with another video in Apache Spark interview question series and today's topic is lineage versus that. Again, this is a very simple topic but yeah, I, I have seen right a lot of people getting confused in this topic. So they know lineage, they know DAG, but when we ask what is the difference, they're not able to answer. So in this video, for a little bit change, right, I'll uh, not go through the theory first, right? Let's go to the hands-on directly and see what is the difference. Okay, so uh, I'm just showing you first the uh, UI. That is a Spark UI we have. You can see there is no stages, no jobs, no SQL queries, nothing. So everything is empty. So let's create an RDD, right? And uh, then maybe see what happens in the UI and what is the difference then we'll be able to understand okay so I have created two RDD RDD 1 and RDD 2 right and I have not uh, kind of uh, called an action I just created some uh, random uh, uh, kind of uh, transformation only right so if you see right uh, with this command to debug string so this will give you a lineage I'll tell you what is lineage and if you do the same thing, you'll see one paralyzed transformation and another that's a map. Uh, you can see it's not written over there, but you can see there are two uh, transformations we are calling. But if we go to that uh, UI, still there is nothing, right? So there is no jobs, no stages and nothing. Now let me call an action. Let's say I just print or collect on RD2. <coughs> so it will do a collect statement and it will print out the result so there are some warnings right we can ignore that okay now it is printing the result whatever we have in that rdd right and uh, after transformation and now if we refresh the page right we'll see there's one job uh, present over there and if we go to that event timeline now you can see there are some executed driver added because i'm right now i'm on my local machine so there is only one driver and that is the same driver and executor both are same and this is a collect statement now if you click on that right now you can see the DAG over here so what is the difference in DAG and lineage so lineage is kind of a logical plan and um, DAG is kind of a physical plan if you want to compare and what is the difference in logical and uh, uh, physical plan is so let's say you write some transformation maybe in, in our case we have written some uh, we have created one RDD1 then we have created some RDD2 on doing some map operation and if you keep on doing maybe rdd3 4 5 some operations so it will create a lineage so that's a lineage so lineage is like uh, it is just pointing out okay this will be the operations that can be converted from rdd1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 so these are these are just a pointer they are not uh, executing the commands because of lazy evaluation right you know and um, it is just uh, just pointing out okay this will be the kind of next operation if something if I have to execute it and the execution happens when I call some action in our case it is collect right collect or maybe in data frame uh, case it is show or something some action when you call it right then it passes this logical plan to the DAG scheduler and DAG scheduler will create a, a physical plan uh, that will be kind of optimized physical plan there are other things involved right there are some optimization involved which I have covered in another video you can check it on my channel right and uh, that ex that plan will be executed by spark to give you out the result so that is the major difference in uh, uh, lineage and uh, kind of uh, dag right so uh, lineage, lineage is kind of a, uh, a logical plan and dag is kind of a uh, physical plan so considering the same example right i just created some data frames as well so that i'll show you what happened is right in the here so if i create some um, it, if I create some data frame as well, right? So I'll tell you what I've created. So I just import some statement. I've created one data frame that is DF1, and it will take some time to execute. <coughs> and after that, uh, we have created another data frame. So meanwhile, it is executing. I'll tell you. After that, we have created another data frame DF2 by doing this filter operations. And after that, DF3, it is just again and filter operation. These are the two filter operation and create data frame I have performed. Now you can see, okay, both are uh, all the ex executions are executed. Now still, if I go to that UI, right, and if I refresh the page, still you'll see only one job is there, right? There is no no second job is there because I haven't executed, and this is an example of lazy evaluation also, right? Now if I do explain, so in in term in case of data frames, I have to do explain. So 
explain can give you multiple plans physical plan uh, logical plan optimized plan logical past plan so there are a lot of other plans also but by default if you don't pass any parameter and explain method right so it will give you a physical plan so you can see okay first it is a scan or just created the rdd that is our uh, creating rdd create data frame and after that we have performed two filter operations that you can see okay filter is not so what it has done is right it it just combined two uh, filter operation all together so that's a that's again a uh, catalyst optimizer task right to optimize the plan or uh, it, it, now you can see that example also that it, it has just merged two filter condition all together because there is no meaning of uh, running two filter conditions separately so, so with this uh, statement right by default you don't pan don't pass any parameter right you will get the physical plan now still i didn't see any job over here because i haven't call any action now let's call some action <coughs> maybe show statement right <coughs> So now you can see the statement, uh, the result will be present over here very quickly. Yeah, now you can see, okay, this is the result because we have filtered out uh, ID is equal to one and name is equal to bar. So it will just give you one result because we have only two, uh, two records only, right? Now, if I refresh it, you must see another, just a second. okay it is there right the job okay now it is there so now you must see okay th these are the jobs are already present right if i go to even timeline again right so now you can see this was the first collect statement and now because they have done uh, different uh, actions or different uh, transformations right now it is over there now you can see the DAG over here for each of the stage right because there are different stages are involved uh, uh, in this job right because we are creating now doing some filtering and all those things so stages are just for um, uh, I'll explain the another video like what is stage what is task but stages for now you can consider when there is some, some kind of shuffling happens right now then it's just kind of a new stage has been created but it is a different case there is no shuffle but uh, due to some RD also and we have only one executor that's why you can say stage 3 we will go into this in some other video right but now you can see what is a DAG right it is just all the operations internally he has to uh, it has to do right the spark it is creating this kind of a DAG so DAG is created whenever an action is called and lineage is created at the very instant moment whenever you are just kind of a, uh, running that transformation so just when I just uh, just con uh, concluding right what we what are the difference in lineage and DAG so lineage is formed after each transformation or maybe when already is data frame is created right so lineage will be there and uh, DAG is only created when an action is called and it is for all the kind of uh, all the RTDs or new data forms involved in that uh, uh, DAG. So again lineage is a logical plan as I told you right and DAG is a physical plan and this is kind of a created by a DAG scheduler and uh, for example right if we have only one RTD and we are just calling an action so it will be same same right the lineage because there is only one RTD involved there is no uh, multiple RDs involved so the lineage and DAG will be same and um, just to debug it right you can do RDD dot to debug string or df dot explain to see okay what are the plans for in terms of uh, logical or uh, physical plan for the case of data frame and similarly if you want to print out sometimes what happens is like when you are running some job you uh, want to print out uh, all the logs or all the DAGs in the, uh, in the console itself right so you can enable this property in the spark uh, dot log uh, spark dot log lineage property and it will show you okay uh, uh, this is make you can make this true right and it will just print out the DAG in the console so yeah so that's it for this video uh, if you have any, any suggestions or some recommendations for the topics right you can just put it in the comment and if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys see you in the next video bye bye